Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. The last video I showed you how to crochet the slouchy hat. Today I will show you how to make a half double crochet v-stitch scarf using the same serenity yarn. So let's get started. What I want you to do, I want you to chain 24 and I want you to get a eye hook. Or you can get a J hook. I used an eye hook, a 5.5 millimeter hook. So it can be a, it can be an I or a J. So let's get going. So starting from the fourth chain from the hook, one, two, three, four. We're gonna half double crochet. So you're gonna wrap the yarn around the hook. You're gonna go into the fourth chain. You're gonna pull the yarn through and then pull the yarn all through, all through three stitches. You're gonna chain one. You're gonna wrap and you're gonna go right back into the same chain. You're gonna pull the yarn through and then pull the yarn through three stitches. That's your half double crochet. You're going to skip one chain and you're going to go to the next chain and you're going to do a half double crochet. You're going to chain one and you're going to go right back in half double crochet. You're going to skip the next chain and go to the chain after that. And you're going to wrap, you're going to go into the chain, you're going to pull the yarn through, and then pull the yarn through all three stitches, or all three chains, or all three loops. You're going to pull the yarn through all three loops. Chain one, wrap, go into the chain, pull the yarn through, and go through all three loops. Skip the next chain and go to the chain after that. You're going to half double crochet. Chain one, half double crochet. And there's no single crochet, I mean, there's no chain one between each um, half double crochet V stitch. All you do is half double crochet, chain one, half double crochet in that chain. And then you skip a chain and go to the next without chaining one. So we're gonna skip, we're gonna skip this chain and go into the next. We're gonna wrap, go into the chain, pull the yarn through, Pull the yarn through all three loops. Chain one, half double crochet. Pull the yarn through all three loops. We're gonna skip a chain and go to the next. Half double crochet. Chain one, half double crochet. Skip a chain, half double crochet in the next. Chain one, half double crochet again in the same chain. Skip a chain, half double crochet in the next chain. Pull the yarn through all three loops, chain one. Wrap, go into the chain, pull the yarn through, Pull the yarn through all three loops. Skip the next chain, half double crochet in the next one. Chain one, half double crochet. Skip a chain, half double crochet in the next.
chain one, half double crochet in the same chain. Now, there's two chains left. There's, there's two chains left. One, two. And we're going to skip the next chain and we're just going to half double crochet in the last chain. Alrighty, so now it curls a little bit, but it'll straighten out once we do a few more rows. But this is how it looks so far. We're going to chain two, and we're going to turn our work. Let me pull some more yarn here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to half double crochet in each chain one space between the half double crochet V stitch. So this is your first V stitch right here. Not here. We're not going here. We're going in between the V stitches. So we're going to half double crochet into the V stitch. Chain one, half double crochet. Then we go into the next V stitch. And remember, we're going into the chain one spaces. So you're not going here. You're not going here. You're going here. All right? In between, because you see the V stitch. So we're going to half double crochet. Chain one, half double crochet. Go to the next V stitch. Half double crochet, chain one, half double crochet. We have one more half double crochet V stitch to do. So we're going to wrap, go into the V stitch, pull the yarn through all three, chain one, wrap around the hook. Back into the V stitch, pull the yarn through, and then pull the yarn through all three loops. Now that we're at the end, we're going to do a half double crochet at the top of the chain two space, which is right here. Right here is the top. Okay, so we're going to do a half double crochet top of the chain two space. Chain two and turn. And we just repeat this second row to the length you want to make your scarf. I go between 60 to 66 inches. It depends on the person or how tall the person is. Most of the time it's 60. Okay, so we're going to go into the V-stitch the v -stitch right here. Remember, you don't go into this space here. You go right into the V-stitch. Half double crochet. Chain one. Half double crochet. Go into the next V-stitch. Half double crochet. Chain one. Half double crochet. You got that? Go into the next V stitch in the chain one space. Half double crochet. Chain one. Half double crochet. One more time. Going into the chain one space of the V stitch. And remember, you're not going here. You're going here. Half double crochet, chain one, half double crochet. No chaining one in between the stitches. None at all. You just wrap, go into the next double crochet V stitch, pull the yarn through all three loops, 
chain one. Half double crochet again, wrapping the yarn around the hook, going back into the V-stitch, pull the yarn through all three loops. Do you see this? Now I'm going to do a few more rows just so you can see how the pattern looks. I've done a few more rows and with the color changes you can see what the pattern looks like. Just by doing your half double crochets chain one half double crochet or just by doing your v-stitch you can see what the pattern looks like all by just repeating row two I'm skipping this space right here and going right into the v-stitch because you should be able to see the v-stitch clearly now you should be able to see the chain one space see how i'm going into the v stitches you see this i'm going into all the v stitches And remember, you're not chaining one in between each V-stitch. You just chain one as you do the V-stitch in, um, in the pattern. I mean, you're just wrapping going into the V-stitch, pulling the yarn all through three loops, chain one, wrap, go into the V-stitch, pull the yarn through, pull all through the three stitches, go into the next V-stitch. I'm going to continue and let this grow just to show you what it's going to look like as you go along. I'm, I'm going to let you see. Okay, now I'm at the end and these are the two chains that we do at the end of each row. So I'm going to do a V-stitch at the top of the second chain, which is right here. You see that right here? I'm going to do a V-stitch right at the top of this second row. Chain two and turn. The next row, I'm going to go right into the first V-stitch. Half double crochet, chain one, half double crochet. So just keep repeating. It's a one row repeat and it goes pretty fast. You see this? You can put tassels at the end if you like. You don't have to. I just want to make sure you see the pattern. I really like it. I can't wait to finish it so you can see how it looks with the hat. I'm on my last row making my scarf to match my serenity hat using the same yarn i just chained two half 
double crochet, chain one, half double crochet, into the V stitches. I'm right into the V stitches. Now, it didn't take me, it took me a few days to do this because, you know, you have other things to do besides crocheting. You have your chores or you got to run your errands, but it feels so good when you finish a project and you're ready to go to the next project. At some point in time, I do need to show you how to read patterns. Because you can go online and get patterns, but you got to learn how to read the patterns. You, you, it's not, so it's, it's the abbreviations. You got to know abbreviations of certain stitches. I'm going to do that too. All right, so I'm finishing the last row. And I'm going to do my last uh, half double crochet on top of the second chain. And I'm going to do a slip stitch and I'm going to cut my yarn and I'm going to weave in the ends. And I just want to show you how this kit, it's a very handy kit. It comes with the scissors. It comes with your large eye needles. I prefer to use the metal than the plastic, but it comes with both. You have your tape measure. You have your clips. Okay, your pins. Now this is what you use for knitting. It goes to the tip of the knitting, knitting needle so you don't lose your stitches. And these are also used when you're knitting. And this, these are for knitting, to hold your stitches. We'll get to that. But I do love this kit. I really do. I love this kit a lot. So, I'm going to pull this. And I'm going to weave in the ends. I'm going to weave in the ends. All you're doing is hiding the yarn. And you go down. And then you go up. Yeah, there you go. I'm going to go back this way back through here. Because I just want to make sure the thread doesn't become loose. And that's it. And that's it. So, here is the finished scarf. It's 63 inches long. 
that's how long I decided to make it 63 inches long this is the scarf this is the matching hat you can make all kind of sets bye for now see you next time